everyone, this is Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to Vampire Bloodlines with the Lance family. It is 6.36 a.m. on Tuesday, and we are continuing after playing through the night, and some time has gone ahead and skipped because I have been using this series as kind of a tester for my new microphone, which my dad got as an early Christmas present. So now I'm using a blue snowball microphone. Hopefully it means that our audio quality is going to be going up and increasing, but in order for that to happen, I need to do a few trial episodes to figure out how this thing is going to work out appropriately for me. And because of that, we've already slaughtered one episode. But that's fine, because this is The Sims 3, and we don't have a strict storyline going, which means you guys probably won't be pissed off at me if I go ahead and like skip a few days trying to work this thing out. Anyways. Let's have a look at what we have going on. School bus arriving pretty soon. Alicia will be graduating soon. That's right. Alicia is going to be graduating pretty soon. How long? Four days? Oh, we still have a bit to go. We still have a bit to go. So that's fine. But also, I was trying to actually breed Raja and Dina. Luckily, they are friends enough or they have a relationship high enough to go ahead and try the kittens. But the one time that I did get to try, in my previous recording, they didn't end up, or Dina didn't end up conceiving. So we're going to try again. I'm actually going to wake Dina up super quick because we do have to get her like um, expectant on Tuesday because if we leave it till Wednesday it's gonna be too late she only has four days left we need to get we need to get the cookie crumbling we need to get stuff crunching and happening okay let's get her out and Raja go make your move boy go make your move he was really like sleep deprived so he's been sleeping a tad bit I don't know why he's up and awake I did not wake him up but Hey, that's what he wants to do, so that's what he wants to do. But can you come and chit chat with Dina? Can he not get inside the garage? Come on, is Maggie blocking the way? Maggie, now is not the time, okay? Now is not the time. Just let him go. Look at that, he wanted to go and you kind of just blocked him. There we go. He's not having your n llama nonsense, Maggie. Come on, let's go. Is Raja going back? There we go. He found his way inside. Hopefully this works out the way that I want it to. And they end up having a kitten with each other. This is going to be Dina's last chance to go ahead and get anything done. Her sister Neil, of course, already has... Um, a kitten of her own who has grown up into a fine young tomcat and has chosen a mate of his own but I think his mate um, is getting moved out of her household because apparently she's living in like inappropriate conditions something like that you know how we get pop-ups because of Enras I got a pop-up of I think that cat it was a black cat that looked kind of like kind of like um, Dina's nephew's mate so I know that's a lot of words taken but it's fine. We'll go through the family tree and I'll talk about what I mean. Which you guys should know. But let's quiet down and have a listen. To see if this worked. Yes! Okay, I heard the jingle. I heard the jingle, everyone. That means that Dina is now expecting. So we're, sh we're gonna be having kittens, like in a few days time. Probably in this week, how exciting is that? We're gonna have kittens in this week. So I am very, very excited to see how that kitten's gonna come out looking. Uh, I think I've said before that I'm hoping it has Roger's markings just because I like his coat so much better. I like his coat so much better than Dina's or Maggie's. I mean, they're both adorable, but still. I know what I want, and I want some of that royal spots. So, we have that going on. I'll leave the cats to their own devices. They should be able to figure themselves out between all the stuff we have arranged for them. The one thing I do want to do is probably add in another food bowl. Um, so, I'm going to add another one over there. Because we have three cats now. I need to think about these things. They shouldn't have to share like two food bowls between the three of them. 
Frank's at school. I wanted to meet new friends, actually. I want her to meet new friends, too. And why does she feel so bad? She got in trouble for missing work? Oh, that's what she got in trouble for. Why did she miss work? I have no clue why she did that. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Duncan! Duncan. I just scratched myself unnecessarily. Okay, <laughs> Duncan, you, um... Do we have a second bathroom? We don't, do we? I said we were going to build a second bathroom. Oh, is it because I had no money? I mean, we still don't have enough money to expand. But that is the goal. I do want to include a second bathroom upstairs because this is no way to live. Like, sharing one tiny bathroom between four grown people, that is just not going to work out in our favor. So I'm going to have to fix that at some point. But let's see. Duncan... There we go. Now you can go to the bathroom. He's He's been working on his garden, so I'm happy to see that. They were all dying previously. All of them were dying, but uh, they're not in that state anymore, so I'm happy about that. And has he gotten his gardening skill up at all? He's at gardening level 4, which is decent. But I guess if he works on his gardening skill even more, that'll be better. His... Um, Carpool is coming in about an hour. Actually, oh, someone's already filled up the food bowl, but who cares? Let's feed up all the food bowls. That's going to get at least one of his um, wishes complete. He also wants to, is it meet someone new? Yes, he does. Hmm. Probably the best way to meet someone new would be at work, maybe? So I'll try and get that happening. 300, 500... And he also wants to learn the fishing skill. Okay. He wants to learn the fishing skill, so I'm going to try and make sure we we do that somehow at some point. Not yet, though. Not yet. We do have this gnome we could sell, and actually, I'm very tempted to sell you, sir. Thank you for those 1,000 simoleons. We're going to need them to improve the house at some stage, eventually. Let's move this out here. And why do they keep complaining about an unfinished room? Like, what the heck is unfinished in here? Is it the... Like, is it the, the flooring? Because I did everything. It has walls and stuff. The only thing I can imagine is the flooring, probably. But I don't even know. Okay, he is going to work. So is Bree. She's going to kick around for a few days, so... We don't really have to worry about her. She's fine. She's going to be around with us for a while. Definitely through this week. Okay, these guys. Oh, yeah, they had the field trip today. So they're going to have an early end. And Oh, he wants to throw a slumber party. His sister wanted to at some stage. Or maybe that was someone else. I think that was actually at the Shade household. I think that was someone else who wanted... I think it was Brandy who wanted to show... The, um, I mean, wanted to throw the, the, not gift giving, the slumber party, but we never got around to it. Where the hell would we have room for that here? Like the, I, oh, actually, we do have room upstairs. We do have room for a slumber party upstairs, so we might be doing that at some point. But okay, let's, we have nothing to do but wait around. Wow. We have nothing to wait, Raja, what are you getting up to? You know what, let's try and get these cats' needs up, because they obviously can't take care of themselves. They just don't know what's going on in life. Okay, you're gonna groom yourself. Let's go use the cat litter. And let's go eat. There we go, that's how you function, Dina. And then Raja wants to do similar things. He actually needs to sleep. I'm gonna get him to eat from the bowl. And just head to bed. Go to sleep. Don't wake up. That's not what I meant. I meant go to sleep and sleep for a, for a good amount. Get your energy up before you decide to run about the place all over again. Okay, short tail king has passed on. Yep, okay. A what? Wait. Is Gavin in the education career or is Gavin in the law enforcement career? Because he suddenly come up on their field trip to the police station and he's telling Alicia that only adults can use that. What? 
I'm so confused. What is he doing? Did he have a career when we like were, when we're with him, or did he just recently get one? I don't know. All these mysteries. So many mysteries. Oh, it looks like he might be in the education career. I don't know. <laughs> Let the nice police officer out of the cell now. Wow. Yeah, they had a great time on the field trip. I think they're coming back home. One of them has work. No, they don't. I lie. I tell lies. No, they're, they're coming back home. So that's cool. Raja is eating up. How do you not know you need to sleep? Like, you have everything you need to go to sleep. Okay, Maggie, you also need to eat and maybe try scratching something. I don't know if that's going to bother poor Raja if he sleeps, but... Oh, well. That's what the cats want to do. That's what the cats are going to do. Maggie wants to learn how to hunt, but Maggie... You're about to croak pretty soon. Is it really worth it to learn skills at that age? See, that's mean. I shouldn't think of it that way. She wants to learn hunting. I should teach her hunting. I actually don't know. I think pounce gets your hunting skill up, actually. So I might get her to just pounce Dina. Because I, I think if your sims aren't there, that's how you can learn hunting. You just pounce on each other, and that gets you, like, that exercises your hunting muscles and skills. So, oh poor Raja. I think he can't sleep, actually, because of... Oh, hold on. Let's go use the cat litter. I think he can't sleep because of the storming. Because it is currently storming outside. But Frank's off to work. Oh, jeez. I introduced, like, in the in the bit, the, the previous recording that I was doing, I introduced her to working from home. Which, apparently, you can do, even if you work at a mausoleum. I'm a bit, like, what the hell? How do you work from home if you're at a mausoleum? I don't know. But as soon as I introduced it to her, she's just been working indefinitely until then. Oh, oh she's a workaholic. I didn't even realize. She just didn't know how to do it before. Hmm. I did not know she's a workaholic, but there we go. I guess we've discovered something about her. She also wants to fill up a bowl and take it easy at work. Is she lazy? How the hell is she a workaholic and a couch potato? <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Um, okay, she w well, once she gets to work, I guess, we're going to take it easy. And this is Jebediah, her boyfriend, which I keep forgetting about. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. They actually have partners. <laughs> wow. Yes, Jebediah, why not? If you're a fairy, that is completely okay. Sweet I think Jebediah's mother was the one we were thinking about getting Vlad together with. Something like that. But let's have a look at that family tree. You know what? This is interesting. Okay, so Alicia, who's a burial specialist, is involved with Jebediah. And Jebediah has a bunch of siblings. So his mother is June Cook, of course. Oh my goodness, who is now with Gavin? I'm sure I knew this in the previous episode, but, like, it's surprising me all over again. Okay, so she... Holy cow, this is so weird. Alicia and Gavin in the same generation. But he is her, like, father-in-law? What? Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I guess June's involved with Gavin. Um, Elspeth, who is so old, is his um, half-sister. And then so is Heather Cook. Holy cow. Okay, so Elspeth is his sister from Jeffrey Cook, who I think his mother married. Interesting. And then Heather is her child with... When was she with Patrick Crew? Oh no, I think she has been with him for a bit. Okay, I get it. And then who's this? So... He was with the Schlicks, I'm assuming. So, Heather Cook is his youngest sister. Damn, this is so confusing. And then, Elspeth was married to Merlin. And she had Amari and Adrian and Cameron. Holy cow. This is so confusing. So many people. Okay. Alicia, 
that's that side of the family tree worked out. So she's somehow, if through marriage, related to Gavin now. Um, even though she's not married to him, but like if she did end up with him, that's what would happen. Frank, let's see what's going on with you. And then he is obviously involved with Lillian Hemlock. She has a younger brother by the name of Carrie, who was born recently, it seems. His mother is Antonia Hemlock. Hmm, interesting. And her father is Wallace Hemlock, so the granddaughter of Morgan and Wogan. Interesting. It is so fascinating to see all the family trees at this stage of, a, like, a town. And to see how everyone's related to each other. Or, you know, who's ending up with who. It is just so fascinating. And how they mix and all of those cool things. Like, some names you start seeing a lot of. So you know that families are really powerful in the area. Because their genes have just spread everywhere. But okay, she wanted to... She wants to learn the social networking skill and then become best friends with her mother. So how can I do that? I think... Let's see. I mean, you know what? I guess we could stream a video and stuff. Is there like a... Yeah, we should stream a video. We don't have money to be going out and... Spending money on stuff. Oh, Bridget Gore. I like that name. It is very gory. <laughs> I like that name. And Dina, no um, pop up yet about her having kittens, but we know that she's she's already conceived. We heard the jingle, so that's fine. Frank, I'm not gonna get you to take it easy. He's doing, he's he's doing decent. I'll leave him be. He's doing decent. His homework is terrible though. He needs to work on that when he comes back home. But he doesn't want to get his bot building skill up. So if possible. You know what I might do? Did I say before we would have a bathroom or something here? Hmm. We'll have to see. I, I think I, I said that I did want to put like a alchemy station here. And oh, Duncan just brought in some money, and Bree should be bringing in something too pretty soon. 7 p.m. Actually, can we invest? I've been saying that for a while, but I feel like we should start investing in that if, you know, that's what we want to go for. We shouldn't beat around the bush and wait. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so this is 850, and actually, that's that won't fit there. That's too small. So I might have to pop this in here, actually. Hmm. What about the bot workshop? That is even bigger. Right. Well, that won't fit. Right. That has not enough room. This might actually go outdoors. We might pop this machine thing outdoors, but we'll pop the alchemy station inside. Look at how cool these look. These look so fascinating. We'll pop these inside, though. I think that's what we want. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know who's using this just yet. Oh. Look at how fancy schmancy that looks. I like it. That looks so cool. So where do I pop this is is the the question I have. Hmm. This way maybe. I think we said it was going to be here. So you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I might pop like a, a shelf back here. Is there a, like a storage box? A chest or something we can have? And I don't know if the chests are kind of shared in The Sims 3 like it is in The Sims 4. We have dresses, but that's not what I want. I want like a, a, a chest. Hmm. Okay, these things aside, do we have shelving? We have these fascinating looking shelves. Oh, a stone alcove? Maybe. No, I want... I want shelves. Give me shelves. Where are the shelves at? I want shelves, man. 
that be in like studies? Nope, not st I don't want bookshelves. I want shelving to put stings. Stings? Things. That's what I mean. Jeez. Um. I can't think of anything else. Wouldn't it be in storage? Where the hell? I'm forgetting a lot of things, but where do I normally get my shelves from? See, now I can't remember where I get my shelves from. Is it dis- Oh, I think it's in displays. Yeah, that's that's where I get my stuff from. It's in displays. Oh, that is so cool! Okay, a bunch of things that I've never played around with before. Maybe we should put in the alchemist's cabinet. Where's the really fancy schmancy one? See, these are too big. I don't know what I'm gonna put in the area. I wanna put something, cause that's a, that's a cute alcove to have. But we need some, like, spots for potion, potiony things. I need potion thing spots. Okay, I'll put another one in. There we go. So what I'm gonna have to do is go through, and we did spend a bunch of money, but probably arrange this place a bit more. See if I can decorate it with anything else, but I probably shouldn't be wasting money on those things. Anyways guys, with that said and done, I'm gonna leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye